Welcome to Handyman School. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your family and friends. Let's begin. Guys, today I'm going to sh show you um, about the uh, lawnmower over here. It's a Honda HRN lawnmower. And uh, it's my first lawnmower. And uh, I've done many research to um, select this. And I found this one to be the best one that, you know, fits my need. And, uh, you know, I've driven Honda for many years and I figured let me just go with the company I trust and I also like the look of it and uh, just to show you from the right outside the box that's what it looks like it's folded like this you do not have to assemble anything other than pull up this bar in place uh, it has a few positions um, of adjustment of height uh, it has uh, two nuts on the side adjusting nut that uh, you know you could easily snap in place um and uh, i picked this one up uh at the home depot uh before you start one of the things that uh, you want to do is uh, make sure it has oil in it the uh the lawnmower doesn't come with fuel or oil uh it, it has um you would have to add the oil in uh in the engine and this is where the dipstick is you open it up i've already added the oil i wanted to show you what it looks like inside you know we have fresh uh oil inside there and the fuel is there. Uh, if there isn't any fuel, I would have to add some. All right, the fuel goes there. Uh, it also has adjustment uh, for, for the front wheels and the rear wheel. Uh, I try to keep it generally at three inch. I don't like to go uh, below two because then I start seeing uh, a lot of weed. So three inch is good enough for the, you know, for the area I'm in. So you are able to adjust easily. Just pull down on that bar and take it to the number of inches you want the uh, grass to be. And another cool thing that I liked about it was, was is the uh, the wheel. The wheels is big size wheel. I, I believe they are 10 inches. And you have this easy knob that you could slide to mulch or bag. I will show you the difference between the two later on. Uh, so what we're going to do is right now we're going to switch it over to mulch. Uh, and there's a fuel valve right there. It said cut off right now. We're going to normalize it to allow the fuel to flow through. And this is where the, um, you know, the grass cut, cut grass comes out. If you have a bag there, the bag will catch it. If not, uh, you know, if you're mulching, it's going to go back out to your grass on your lawn. So what I'm going to do is, um, previously I have looked in there and there wasn't enough fuel. You just open up and just pour some fuel in. Uh, I'm pouring in 87, uh, no additive. Uh, I did not add any stabilizer or anything like that because I use the lawnmower about every two weeks. So um, I don't remember how much gallon it takes in there. However, uh, if you look up Honda HRN GCV 170, you would be able to know. And this is another one, Smart Drive uh, Control. You could actually adjust it depending on the position of it. It's either stiff or soft. Um, if you leave it up there like that and you push it down, uh, you know, you take the advantage of uh, taking the lawnmower at the faster speed. So I'm adjusting it to my comfort uh, uh, spot. And now I'm going to go ahead and start, you know, start the engine. And you see the instructions are very easy. All you have to do is grab into the handlebar, you know, make sure the oil is okay. Even though I checked before, I'm going to check again because I don't remember that I checked it before. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and just pull on that uh, start. So, but first you wanna do is hold on to that handlebar, right? And you just pull. It's shaking a little bit because my my uh, phone was shaking. The uh, lawnmower was not. I'm holding my phone with one hand and trying to uh, show you how this thing gets started. It has two blades, you know, that cuts the grass at two different level and now we're going to switch it back to mulch all right because i wanted to show you what the um, lawn looks like once you have it set to um, set to mulch so we're just going to go ahead and start it i believe my grass and my lawn about four inches now four to five inches um, so we're going to go ahead and start and uh, and this one, as you push down, the lawnmower uh, moves uh, on its own. So it has a rear wheel drive. You know, I picked up rear wheel drive because my uh, property has some incline, 
and uh, it's best to have a rear wheel drive on an incline uh, you know property to cut the grass so I got the real wheel one and it uh, I don't have to push it it moves on its own you know the price was about uh, 499 to 500 I believe I don't remember exact price but and around there it's below a thousand it's definitely not 700 I believe about I paid about five to six hundred uh, I'm not quite sure about that you could look it up online and see so right now I'm going at slow speed because uh, you know I want to show you how this thing rolls and once I'm done doing one end if you notice on the right side of your screen the side that the grass was cut you know uh, it looks nice and neat and I'm cutting off the other side and what if you are like first timer like me you know when you are cutting the grass you want to make sure you're overlapping with the lawnmower otherwise you're gonna have um, you know, you're gonna have some grass uh, not cut uncut grass and and between the two you know, aisles that you, you are cutting so you just go over one aisle then you overlap the other aisle you go back and forth you know until you're done with your lawn you know so right now I'm showing you the speed how fast it's going as you saw I believe it goes to 8 to 10 miles you know seems that way anyways I, I don't know uh, you could look up on the manual and it's easy to adjust you just snap it in place and you walk with it you know uh, whichever way you want to uh, cut, cut the uh, you know grass on your lawn um, so I, I have a system that I go through uh, you know I just go back and forth I think the manufacturer recommends that you go counterclockwise you know, in a circular pattern uh, to get better performance but uh, I prefer to go back and forth side to side uh, you know it works for me I don't know if you could notice some of the uh, brownish spot that's because uh, you know the temperature out here was very uh, hot last couple of weeks so I was mulching about two weeks ago and my grass did not get to mix in uh, you know so so it dried up the mulch uh, uh, mulching that I did it dried up and I got some spots here and there looks like but it's not the spots on the grass it's the uh, mulch uh, grass that was cut off two weeks before it's dried up and it doesn't look good to look too good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put attach this um, bag that comes with this lawnmower uh, I'm gonna attach it and I'm gonna show you the difference between uh, you know cutting it in the mulch mode and the bagging mode so right now I'm about to bag it so I'm gonna bag every you know um, grass that I cut I'm gonna bag it to show you that the it leaves the uh, lawnmower uh, much cleaner in a much uh, cleaner state so uh, I just wanted to show you and, and, and another thing is uh, one of the gardeners has recommended me to use the mulching uh, if you could collect the mulch, use them as a fertilizer. You know, it takes a while to break down, for the nature to break it down, but uh, it makes a uh, good fertilizer. So this is what it looks like when you just cut off the grass in mulch mode. You got mulch all over the place. It's all good, nice and dandy. If it's you know, if the weather is cool and um, you get rain next day, then you know this thing you know mixes up and goes down to the grass. Uh, but if you are expecting hot summer days. Uh, you know, it's best I think to uh, bag because you don't want to leave this thing on top of your lawn And then look this is what happens you dry up and you get those white spots It's not your lawn, but the those grass dry up and it doesn't look too good, you know uh, So I, I think it's better if you're expecting some hot days just bag them, you know and pile up the um, You know mulch somewhere in your gardening They'll, You know they eventually the nature will break down and you could use it as a fertilizer You know, so uh, the uh, God created the uh, world, the earth, you know, uh, in, in a very efficient way. You know, you, it's interesting how you could use the grass that you cut off to uh, as, a, as a fertilizer, you know. So uh, what I'm going to do is I have gone and uh, started cutting the grass with the uh, bag on a bag mode. And I wanted to show you after a few passes that the, uh, the bag fills up and it leaves your, uh, your lawn looking healthier, cleaner much better so if you look on the right side you see you know the, the cutting that I have done without the bag and now I have started with the bag so I'm gonna go some passes um, and you could notice the big difference there's no mulch there's no um, you know grass uh, in a cut grass I have collected them all and it, it leaves the lawn you know look uh, healthier much healthier I think but you know, uh, I haven't had this experience on a cold day. You know, I usually like mulching because I, you know, I don't fertilize my lawn. Uh, I, I, other than you know mulch, but hot days I try to uh, 
you know collect them with the bag I bag them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to show you what it looks like it fills up the bag after a few passes I'm just going to put it underneath this tree you know this tree looks like uh, it's dying for some fertilizing you know I don't have to go out and buy anything you know so I'm just going to leave it there I don't know if it's going to help it the tree is big it's been around for many years but I feel bad for it, you know, it, it doesn't look too good. Maybe, uh, you know, it'll get some benefit. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your family and friends. Thank you.